I'm surrounded by animals in the studio today. They all come from very different countries in different parts of the world. The tiger is from India. The panda's from China. And do you know where the gorilla and the rhino come from? Well, they all come from Africa. Although they come from different places, they all have something in common. And that's the fact that there aren't very many of them left. All these animals are endangered animals. Well, that means that they're in danger of dying out altogether. There used to be many thousands more in the world, but now they're all very rare and difficult to find. The best place to have a look at some rare animals is in a zoo, and that's where Louise has been. Hello. I'm at Bristol Zoo, and I've come to take a special look at the elephants. Here they are. Wendy and Christina. They're about 20 years old, which means they're almost fully grown. And one's from Africa, and the other's from Asia. And you can tell the difference by their ears. Wendy is the Asian elephant, and she has the smaller ears. And Christina has the larger ears of the African elephant. In Africa, where Christina comes from, there are still some elephants living in the wild, although far fewer than there used to be, and they may be in danger of disappearing altogether. Because they're such big animals, they need to eat vast amounts of food each day, about 150 kilograms, and that means they need a lot of land where they can wander freely. Unfortunately, the land in Africa is being built on or used for growing crops. The elephants no longer have enough space to live in. Some elephants live in game reserves or national parks where the land is kept especially for wild animals, but it's difficult to keep them in small areas. They destroy the vegetation, pushing down trees so that they can eat the bark. Sometimes, the elephants are shot by poachers. Although it's against the law, it still happens. The elephant's tusks are then sold to gift shops. The tusks are made of ivory, which can be carved to make jewellery. It really would be very sad if African elephants disappeared forever because there was no land for them or because too many of them were shot. If elephants did vanish forever, the only way to learn about them would be to look at pictures. And that's not the same as seeing a real elephant, is it? Here's one animal that you can only see in pictures. It's called the dodo. And the dodo is extinct. That means it's disappeared altogether. The dodo was a bird which lived on an island called Mauritius. We don't know much about it because all that's left are some illustrations of what it looked like. There are some bits of its skeleton, which are now in a museum. A part of its foot, and a bit of its skull and beak. The dodo was a very heavy bird, and although it had wings, the wings weren't big enough to enable it to fly. 300 years ago, when sailors visited Mauritius, they brought other animals onto the island which disturbed the dodo and sometimes the sailors killed the birds for food. The dodos couldn't fly away, so one by one they were killed off until there were none left, and the dodo became extinct. That's why we sometimes say, as dead as a dodo. Poor old dodo. Here's a little song about him. The fate of poor old dodo was settled long ago, go. Dear old, oh dear old, oh dear old, oh dear old oh dodo. Because he was so slow, slow, Dodo had to go, go. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh Dodo. And others, it is all too clear, will very quickly disappear. We must do our very best to stop each species going west. The fate of poor old Dodo is something you should know, no. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh Dodo. 
All that's left to show show is bits of beak and toto. Dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh no no. And others it is all too clear could very quickly disappear. Others no no like will go if we choose to make it so. The fate of poor old Dodo was settled long ago. Go, dear old Dodo, dear old Dodo, dear old Dodo, dear old Dodo, dear old dear old dear old dear old Dodo. Dear oh dear, poor old Dodo. And the sad thing is that many other wild animals are now in danger of becoming extinct. To prevent this happening, zoos try to breed rare animals to increase the numbers. It's not easy to do. Elephants, for instance, are pregnant for two years before they produce babies. But there are some rare animals that zoos breed very successfully, as Louise found out. In here, we have a gorilla family group. And some of them were actually born here in the zoo. The big male there is called Samson, and he was the father or grandfather to most of the children. They all live very happily here together. And Gogol, she's one of the ladies, has a baby called Zachary that's just six months old. There we go. Mike, what's his name? This is Reuben. Reuben. And how old is Reuben? Uh, he was born on the 4th of July. He's three months old. I see. There's a good boy. How often do you have to feed him? Uh, he's fed five times a day now, starting at half past seven in the morning. Yeah. And last feed at night, or any time after 10 o'clock. Oh. There's a good boy. Enjoy that. Is it good? And is he the only one you have? In... No, we have another young gorilla here who's six months old. If you'd like to hold Reuben, right. I will go and get Goliath. Come on, Reuben. Look at Goliath. As Reuben's not being looked after by his own mother, he's kept in a special part of the zoo and looked after by his keeper. Is this your friend? This is Goliath. Oh, Mike puts them into nappies yes, because it keeps infections down and helps them to stay clean and healthy. No, no that's not your bottle. Hello. Hello. Say hello to Louise. There we are. <laughs> Look. Oh, dear. And these are being brought up together, is that right? That's right, yes. They're both being hand-reared. Their mothers wouldn't look after them. Yes. And it's good that we've got the two together because they're great company for each other. It's not very nice for them to be on their own all the time. So they have each other to play with? Yes, this is very important. Uh, we want to bring them up to think, for them to think that they are gorillas and mm. not human beings. And how long will they be with you? Well, I think they'll probably be very dependent upon us for about four or five years, mm. and then after that they'll be nearly adult. The important thing is that we get them back to the ape house with adult gorillas so they can see their own kind. Back in the ape house, Zachary is being looked after by his own mother. Many gorilla babies have been born at Bristol Zoo, and that makes sure that in the future there will still be some gorillas to study and admire, even if they no longer exist in their rightful place in Africa. There are other organisations as well as zoos which are trying to prevent animals becoming extinct. One of the best known ones is the World Wildlife Fund. You'll probably recognise their symbol. The giant panda. There are many ways you can help them to help the endangered animals of the world. You could join the Panda Club, for example, and learn which animals are in danger and why. Some of them are British animals, of course, like the otter. Otters live in rivers and streams. They eat fish and dive for their food underwater. This otter has found an eel to eat. Otters have a thick coat of waterproof fur, strong paws, and a very long, heavy tail, which helps them to swim.
They're very playful, beautiful creatures. Watch how fast and smoothly they swim under the water. And now I have a surprise for you. In the studio today, we have a special guest, Mr. Spike Milligan, and he's brought along rather a special little friend as well. Hello, Spike. Hello, uh, James. Hello, children. Pay attention, teacher, please. Would you like to introduce us to your friend? This is, uh, children, is a baby otter. She's a, a baby Malayan otter, and she is a little girl. And what, what's her name? Her name is B. 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 yes. That's the straight line with the two big bellies sticking out the front. And she's about six months old. Nice. And very unmanageable, as you can see. <laughs> right. So she's, she's just a, a little baby otter at the she's moment, a, really. She's a baby otter, yes. If, if at home, if you had a baby sister this old this age, she would really be in a pram at this age. But otters are more advanced uh, at this age than children, of course. Are you interested in animals in general? Oh, yes. Oh, I, I mean, imagine the world without animals. I always feel very sorry that the, the world, uh, children of the world, are getting less and less animals to mm. see, except for the domestic dog and cat and the budgerigar mm. and all that sort of thing. But the real world of exciting animals that are totally free uh, are, are getting less and less all the time, mm. and especially the otter. Uh, she's obviously very fond of water. Yes. And would you like to pop her into our little special pool? Yes, we well, we're going to put her in. Built at we, great we, we hope she is. Watch her go. Let's see. Oh, she likes that. Isn't that she? lovely? Yes. What other animals in particular in the wild are endangered at the moment? Uh, the list is endless, actually. Mm. It goes from minute little fleas and things like that up to, the, up to the, the whale, which is the biggest creature the world has ever known. All down the line, there are animals in great danger. And uh, at one time, we thought that some animals were reasonably safe, like the, uh, the white rhino. But now, with poaching, in the white rhino areas, even that's becoming very, very dangerous. So the whole animal world, despite uh, organizations like the World Wildlife Fund, are under great pressure. And I honestly am going to tell you that I don't think at this moment we are winning. Well, I wish you the very, very best of luck in what you're trying to do. Well, don't wish me. There's and no shortage of us. It's the animals you want to wish the best of luck. Well, that's right. And, uh, and I know that everyone watching will do yes. their very best to help. Yes. Right, well, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along. I'm bringing Bee. Yes. And she's gone off for a walk, and somewhere she's around the studio. So I think I'll go and uh, leave you to, to go and find her. Yes, I must find her. She owes me money. <laughs> right. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Remember, creatures of all kinds need places to live and things to eat, just like we do. Otherwise, they're liable to disappear. Just like you know who. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.